Hello, I'm back with a new recipe today. And this time I will be doing beef with green beans. And here are the ingredients that we'll be using in the beef today. For the onion, I'll mix the onion with the ginger. So I'm gonna chop all the Now I'm going to add that's a two teaspoon, uh, tablespoon of olive oil, sorry, it's the same teaspoon. I'm adding to the pan. You can use veggie, um, you can use sunflower oil, coconut oil, oil of your choice. And when this oil is heated, I will, I'm adding. So now all the chaps. Ginger and so basically what I do is all the chopping green beans I had and I'll, I'll fry these for about five minutes um, to let it cook. Then I'm gonna add five cup of water to this chop vegetable when they cook and add the um the spice to it as well So now the um, vegetables is cooked a bit and I'm going to add that's four cups of water and it should be fine. Five cups of water and now I will add in all the spice, the salt and chili powder Now the um, vegetables cook, I'm going to add the beef to the water, the beef, left the beef to cook for 45 minutes or a hour. And 
on a low, very low flame. When it's close to cook, I'll add some other um, cooked green peas and I'll cut the pepper, red pepper in strips. Also, I'll be adding some beef stock to it if it doesn't have enough flavor. Now I'm going to cover it and leave it to cook on a low flame. Guys, um, now I'm going to put the green beans to boil for four minutes in water and salt. And I cut them in just two. Here we go. So this is going to be boiled in water. It's there in salt water now. And then when they finish cook, I will be adding them to the Um, the water, most of the water is evaporated from the meat now. I'm going to add the green beans and the, the red pepper. So I already cook and strain the green beans into And also um, I will be adding the red pepper now. And I'll leave this to cook for about seven more minutes. I also had some stock to it, um, beef stock. So I'm going to cover this now to cook for another 7 minutes, 7 to 10 minutes. Well, um, now the beef and green peas is finished cook and that's how it looks. And I will be serving this with coconut rice. You don't have to put the um the stock in it, it's optional, but I do like the stock in it because it gives it a bit more flavour. Guys, now that my beef and green peas is finished, I would really love you to give this recipe a go. It take a bit a while, but believe you me. It's delicious and tasty and you can have it with boiled rice I'm having it today with coconut rice um, just gonna dig in it's lovely to do for Sunday tea or if you have someone coming around thanks for watching my video guys give me a thumbs up and subscribe and comment on my recipe and tell me if you love it and if there's anything I need to change, thank you.